Time now for financial focus and joining us is KTMB financial analyst, Steve Buden. Steve, thank you so much for being with us again. So we're talking about the holidays are coming up, Thanksgiving especially. We know that our groceries have been rising. The prices of our groceries have been rising. So that means Thanksgiving dinner is going to be the highest probably that it's been in a long time. Yeah, if there's ever a year you want to uninvite somebody from your Thanksgiving dinner, this is it. We're expecting uh, much higher prices for turkey, vegetables, potatoes, the whole thing. So just be prepared uh, for what you're about to expect to see when you shop for Thanksgiving. And why is this? I know inflation has been tossed around. We've been hearing that throughout the entire year. Yeah, the term supply shock. I know I've been using it a lot. The supply chains, you know, you just have a... Uh, numerous bottlenecks in the system of getting goods from where they're initiated to the market. And we don't see that subsiding for at least the next few months. What are some of the things that we can do to help generate more income for our household? One of the things I'll do on occasion is, you know, you pull up a couple of your bank statements. Uh, it's always good to review where your spending is and you'd be surprised where you spend your money. I know we're all guilty of this. You sign up for free subscriptions to movie channels, to gyms and other services, iTunes, whatever it might be. And then you forget to cancel them when the free subscription trial period is over. So that's a situation where it may sound like a small amount of money, but if you have two or three or four of these things, you know, you don't need five gym memberships. Uh, one is probably enough. And as you see those expenses on your bank statements, you'd be surprised how much you spend on things you don't necessarily need. I know a lot of things have changed for us ever since the pandemic. We do still have some of those gym memberships that we might not be using right now. What about when it comes to lowering our interest rates? How do we take a look at those? Another thing that you can consider doing is calling your credit card issuer. If you have had some good payment history over the last year and a half, call them. You might be able to negotiate a lower credit interest rate. Uh, I just got a notice from my bank uh, to lower my interest rate on my mortgage. So it might not be a bad idea to look into refinancing your mortgage. Interest rates on mortgages are historically low. And if you've delayed looking into doing that, now's probably a good time to do that. Very good advice. Thank you so much, Steve Beauty, getting us ready for the holidays. And we'll be right back after this.